we've made massive progress. Um, of course, with the injury of his nature, uh, we has gone gone through similar sort of rehabs, I'm, which I've dealt with them the last last two of them. I'm very happy with the progress we've made. Um, of course, it's been trying, but we've tried different techniques this time, and we've managed to come away with uh, some fantastic results. So things are moving away. I think maybe even a bit ahead of schedule, which is very very promising going forward. Yeah, rehab is rehab. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's quite a tedious process. Um, yeah, it's quite a you know, being on crutches for 12 weeks takes a bit of time to get back into things. Um, you got to just go step by step. So for me, it's obviously nice to have progressed to the point now where I can start running a little bit and being a little bit more active than what I have been. Getting away from a little bit of the smaller, harder exercises and into sort of the bigger, more sort of uh, things that make you feel like you're closer to playing again. So. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm enjoying it at the moment. I've got some good people around me which have made it easier. I've introduced a, a, a bike um, from America called the Aerodyne bike. Uh, it's a combination of pushing and pulling strength with regards to cycling and pushing on your arms. Cardiovascularly, it's extremely challenging. So I've been hitting him with a lot of intervals for that. It takes him out of his comfort zone where he's not really in control of it. And he's the sort of person who likes to be in control of his environment. So it's 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 quite humorous to see him get pushed to the levels. What I've done is I've sort of mixed up and I've added a lot of cardiovascular elements um, using non-impact related equipment um, off his ankle. In between, sort of, uh, sort of the functionality, functionality of his core-based exercises, um, which he needs. I mean, Graham loves to do stuff where his core is in, act in activation. So we'll be doing like sort of a lot of the high intensity aerobic capacity uh, work, and then adding in uh, sort of functional exercises using a lot of cables, etc. It's quite frustrating, you know, to be in this position. Um, I guess you try and look at the positives as you get some time at home with your family. You know, you get the opportunity to get a little bit fresh. Um, but this is certainly my longest injury that I've ever had. I mean, this ankle's been hassling me for a period of time now, and to have pins put in and so and so and so on. You know, you always wonder how it's going to be when you come back. Um, so far, so good. Touch wood. Um, and you know, yeah, I'm just as, I, as I'm feeling now, I'm quite motivated and, and, and hoping that everything for the next period goes really well. Yeah, it's, a, it's another exciting season, you know, a, a really tough challenge for us as a team to go to Dubai, Abu Dhabi and, and play Pakistan there. I mean, especially the test side has had a long layoff, sort of five months away, six months away from cricket and to arrive in conditions that are pretty foreign, pretty hot and need to perform almost on the go is going to be a challenge. Um, then we've got India coming here, um, always a, a great draw card in, in anywhere in the world and uh, some exciting players. Um, and uh, then Australia to fo follow, which we all know how much uh, South African fans love Australian series. Um, you know, so there's some big challenges that lie ahead for us, but uh, an exciting season.